you're watching the lesson on multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. So what we did before is we multiplied fractions by whole numbers and we multi and divided fractions by whole numbers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply fractions and multiply mixed numbers. So how do we multiply fractions? Well, to multiply fractions, you multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. So I sort of said that in the previous lessons. I just wanted to hammer that in. Uh, multiplying fractions, just you just multiply the numerators and denominators together. So in this example, we have 2 over 6 times 5 over 6. So you just multiply the numerators. 2 times 5, 10. Multiply your denominators. 6 times 6, 36. Right? That's your answer. But... You can simplify this, so you simplify your fraction into the final answer. So that's what you need to do when you multiply fractions. It's not particularly hard. The trick will come in when you confuse multiplying for adding fractions. So try these practice questions, and then we'll move on to the next one. Right? So hopefully you pause the video. So 4 times 5, 12 times 12, right? So that would be... 4 times 5, 20, 12 times 12, 144, right? And so I can just simplify that into 10, right, over 72. I can keep going, right? I can turn that into 5 over, that's 35, 136. Right? And so this will become my final answer because what I did was I multiplied the tops to get 20. I'll use a different number, color to get 20. And then I multiplied my bottoms to get 144. But then I realized, oh, my fraction can be simplified. So I'll just divide it by 2. That's an easy way to do it. And I got 10 over 72. But then I realized, oh, I can divide both by 2 again. So then I'll just divide it again. And I get 5 over 36. So try these questions and we'll just continue on from there. So does the denominator need to be the same? So here we have 6 over 7 plus 3 over 8. And over here we have 6 over 7 times 3 over 8. Well, when you add fractions, you need to find the common factor. Right? Or sorry, not the common factor. <laughs> the common multiple. The common multiple. Right? So in this case, what I typically do is I take the denominator and I go, oh, 8 times 6. I take the denominator and multiply the other fraction by it. So I go 8 times 6 here, or 6 times 8 in this case. And I go 7 times 8. Because 8 is the other denominator. Well, let's see this fraction. What's the other denominator? 7. So I multiply this by 7. And I multiply this by 7. Right? Just like this. I multiplied this by 8 because 8's the denominator. I multiplied this by 7 because 7's this denominator. I end up with 48 over 56 plus 21 over 56. My denominators are the same. When you add and subtract fractions and the denominators are the same, you don't have to worry about the denominator anymore. That's just your denominator. You just add or subtract the tops. So 48 plus 21 is 69 over 56. Oh well. I could say that's my final answer, but I can make it simpler. 69 is too big, and 56 can fit into it. So how many times does 56 fit into 69? Well, one time. So my whole number will be 1. Well, how much is left? 13. So now we have 13 over 56. 1, 13 over 56, and that becomes my answer. Well, when we multiply fractions, it's so much easier. It's so much easier. You just go, oh, 6 times 3, 18. 7 times 8, 56. And then simplify. Right? Same fractions, just changed the operation. So the common mistake that people will do is, sorry, one second. The common mistake people will do is they will um, confuse adding and multiplying, and they'll try and make the denominator the same. So you've got to be careful. If you're adding, you make the denominators the same. If you're subtracting, you make the denominators the same. If you're multiplying or dividing, you don't care. And when you're multiplying fractions, you just smash them together. 6 times 3, 7 times 8, done. And there's your answer. Right? So when multiplying fractions, you do not need to have the same denominator. You do not need to have the same denominator. 
That's a very common mistake you will do, so try and avoid that. So let's talk about mixed numbers now. Well, if you have mixed numbers, you need to make them improper fractions, right? So this is another tricky part where now you have mixed numbers, you need to make them improper. Well, the whole number, right, this whole number here, this 1 and this 4, is telling you how many times the denominator, how many times, like the number of times the denominator you have, and then you add that to your numerator. It'll make more sense when I show you. So, the whole number represents how many denominators you have. And then you add that to the numerator. So you have 1 to 5 over 6. Well, this 1 is telling me how many 6s I have. Oh, well, I have 1 6. Or 6 over 6 as a whole number. Okay, well, you add it to your original fraction. Well, 6 over 6, the denominator is the same, so I don't care. And then it becomes 6 plus 5, 11. So 1, 5 over 6 is the same as saying 11 over 6, right? Because this is telling me I already have 1, 6 that I'm adding to the top. So a shortcut could be just going, oh, I have 1, 6, so I have 6 plus 5, which is 11. This is just the more a mathematical real way to show you. This is the reason why it works, but this is the shortcut you can use. Okay, well then try this one. So pause the video to try this one. So hopefully you pause the video. Uh, 4, 1 over 2. Okay, well this 4 is telling me how many 2's I have. Well, how many 2's do I have? 4. So 4 times 2 is 8. So I have 8 over 2, right, plus 1 over 2. Well, 8 plus 1 is 9 over 2. And that is the improper fraction of 4, 1 over 2. Now, the shortcut you can do is just go 4 times 2, or 2 times 4, right? That's 8 plus 1, which would still give you 9 over 2. Right? So you just multiply the whole number by your denominator and then add it to the top. So, let's try this. 5 over 6, 1 5 over 6 is the same as saying 11 over 6, because 6 times 1 is 6, plus 5 is 11 over 6. Right? 4, 1 over 2, well, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, so 9 over 2. And now that you have improper fractions, you just multiply. 11 times 9, 99. 6 times 2, 12. Cool. But I can simplify. Right? I can turn this into 33 over 4 because I can divide this by 3, I can divide this by 3. But the problem again is, this is an improper fraction still. So make sure you turn it back into a mixed number. And that's where the mistake will happen. You'll stop here. Make sure you turn it back into a mixed number. So how many 4s fit into 33? Well, 8. Right? That's 32. So 8 4s fit into it. So how much is left? Well, 1. So it's 8, 1 over 4. So the common mistake you'll do is forget to turn it back into a mixed number and simplify. So practice these questions. This, again, will hammer in the way to multiply fractions and mixed numbers. Hammer in the fact that you got to turn the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. And remember how to simplify or uh, turn an improper fraction back into a mixed number. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next lesson.